The topic of AI remains exciting and so does this video in which we will discuss how to set up our own local AI and even connect it to Home Assistant at the end so that we are no longer dependent on OpenAI but can use our completely own AI. How this works and everything else after the intro. Enjoy! I would like to start with the clearly more complicated part, namely a custom AI that functions similarly to ChatGPT but is completely local. I would say that this is more of a demonstration of what will likely be possible in the future as currently it still requires a relatively high amount of computing power. So running it locally on a permanent basis would probably not be economically worthwhile. However, if you're interested and value privacy that much, then you can definitely go ahead and do it. In the future, there will likely be dedicated chips that are optimized to handle these computing tasks, and then the whole process should become significantly more efficient. Hopefully, it will eventually be possible to use small mini computers for this purpose. You can run Home Assistant and at the same time have your own AI that implements the corresponding commands. But I would say, let's jump right in. Here, the entire project is called Local AI. It essentially brings together a lot of different LLMs. This way, you can create images, audio, or even chats, and install everything with minimal effort. Here, you can already see the installation directly. You could actually do this with your own graphics card as well. I just ran this on the CPU, and for that, I either need to simply copy this command here, or I could even use a Docker Compose here. I will now copy all of this here, and I have, of course, already prepared a machine. I just need to paste the command once, press enter, and then it will be executed automatically. He is now downloading all the models here to have a runnable environment first. However, one could also completely configure everything and insert custom models or use other models. However, you can also do that afterwards. You can find the documentation linked below in the video description if you want to take a look or if you would like to try it out yourself. So, once everything is completed, we can go to it using port 8080 and then we will get a similar interface to ChatGPT itself. Here we see our already downloaded models that we have ready. However, we can also install our own through the Models tab, such as the Llama model, provided by Meta. Simply click on Install here, and it will be downloaded and automatically installed. Additionally, we can create images here. We can enter our prompt normally, and then images would be created here. Additionally, we can use TTS here or the chat. And as you can see, it already resembles ChatGPT quite a bit. We also have the ChatGPT4 model, so we could just enter anything here, like for example, how are you? And then we would hopefully see in the performance monitor how the computing power suddenly increases. 2001, because it is now starting to calculate the answer here. The whole process takes a moment, depending on what kind of hardware you have. And just like with ChatGPT, you can now slowly see how the response is coming in. You can then, if you feel like it, just give it a try. You have your very own AI locally, and you can chat back and forth just like with ChatGPT and also upload files, for example. Or simply select a different model up here if you want to play around with it and try out different models. So, next I would say, let's take a look at how we can integrate our own AI into Home Assistant so that we can use our own AI for the conversational agent instead of ChatGPT. For this, we need two things. On one hand, of course, a computer on which Home Assistant runs, and on the other hand, currently still, the hack store. If you don't have it yet, I have already created a video about it. I'll show you how to install it up here. Just take a look at it, and you'll know how to set it up. We will log into Home Assistant, go to Hacks here, and then click on Custom Repositories at the three dots. Then, we paste the URL below from the video description, and in the category, we select the integration, click on Add, and then this should also be added here. We can close the tab and now search for LLM here, and then we will find local LLM conversation here. It is also marked as new, and we can download it here now. We need to confirm this once more, and then it will take a little while. Once that is completed, we go to the settings and click on restart. Then restart Home Assistant once, and we have actually done it. Now we just need to click on Add Integration in the settings under Devices and Services and enter LLM here. We can already find local LLM conversation and then we can select a lot from here. In 2021, on one hand, we could now integrate various LLMs here. For example, connect an open API, compatible API, or set up a completely custom model. I would do this here with Llama CPP, so the pre-selected one moving on. 
Then we could also select another model here. I will just leave it on the default settings for now. The only thing I will change here is the language. I will change it to German and then click on continue. Now everything is being downloaded. This can take a little while. And then we just need to select whether the home assistant is allowed to control this. I select yes. And then we have here the completely normal system prompt that we already know from ChatGPT. I could change a lot of settings here. As I said, I will just leave it at the default and click on submit. And then we have already created the whole thing. The only thing I am changing now is to copy this predefined file in the developer tools template so that I also have the weather settings. Go back to settings, devices and services, then click here to configure local LLM conversation and then paste everything down here and submit. And then we have that done. From now on, we can update the pipeline. So we select settings, voice assistance, choose our pipeline here, and then select the Llama CPP as the conversation mediator and click update. And then we have accomplished it. We can now try it out by clicking on overview. At the same time, I'll open up the computer here on which everything is running. And then let's just check how the weather is right now. Send that off. And then ideally the CPU should already be working properly here. And as soon as this stops, after a few seconds, we should also receive a response here, which is sometimes better, sometimes worse. What temperature do we have right now? Now we have a water temperature of 25 degrees. That was also somewhat correct. Nevertheless, you can also connect the whole thing with Llama and then use this LLM model. There are indeed different options with varying computing power. This is how it works, and it's best to try it out for yourself and then decide whether it makes more sense to use a ChatGPT connection or this local model. Otherwise, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe even found it helpful. If so, I would greatly appreciate a rating. In the next video, we will, for a change, not focus on AI, but rather return to normal topics related to smart homes. If you still want to discuss more topics, feel free to write it in the comments and I would say, see you next week for a new video. Until then, take care and goodbye. You send.